Hello everyone. Welcome to Amas Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage a Windows Defender firewall on Windows 10 device with Intune. We can use the endpoint security firewall policy in Intune to configure a built-in firewall for devices that run macOS and Windows devices. We can also configure the same firewall settings by using endpoint protection profiles for device configuration. The device configuration profiles also include additional categories of settings. These additional settings are unrelated to firewalls and can complicate the task of configuring only firewall settings for our devices. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. We have created one test device group named Test Win Client. Click on Group Name. Under Manage, click on Members. We can see the Windows 10 device named Lab Win 10 CLI01 is listed as a member of this group. We will create endpoint security firewall policy and apply it to this group. Let's go to a Windows 10 device. For testing purpose, we have turned off the Windows Defender firewall on our Windows 10 device. From security point of view, the firewall must stay turned on in all corporate devices. So let's see how we can do this using Endpoint Security Firewall Policy. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Firewall. Now we can see we have one device with firewall turned off. Let me click on this tab. And here we can see our device name labwin10-cli01. Firewall status is limited. Let me click on summary. Click on create policy plus icon. From the platform drop down list, select Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server. From the profile drop down list, select Microsoft Defender Firewall. Click on create. Enter a name and description for this firewall policy. We have given name Taste Windows Defender Firewall Policy and added a description. This firewall policy will turn on the Windows Defender Firewall on Windows devices. Click on Next. In Configuration Settings, we can choose among various options. In this video, we just want to turn on Windows Defender Firewall on our devices and prevent end users from turning it off. So we will only configure those settings related to that. A Windows 10 device firewall profile is private, but we will configure the same settings for all the firewall profile. First, let's start with domain profile configuration settings. Set the enable domain network firewall to true. If you want, you can also set default inbound action for domain profile to block, which I'm not going to do. Otherwise, we cannot initiate remote tasks from Intune portal. Set default outbound action to allow. These settings will turn on Windows Defender Firewall on our devices for the domain profile and prevent end users from turning it off. We will need to do the same for public and private firewall profile. Set private network firewall to true and default outbound action will also allow. Set enable public network firewall to true and default outbound action will be allowed. We also want to enable the auditing so select success plus failure for both options under auditing. 
click on next. In scope text, just click next to continue. Click on add groups to select a device group to assign the policy. From the list, we will select our taste device group, taste a win client. Click on select and click on next. Review your settings and click on create. Wait for confirmation message. We can see the message policy created successfully. We have deployed the firewall policy to our devices, but this will take some time to apply the settings on our device. Let me click on this tab. Uh, let's select a Windows 10 device name, which is labwin 10 cli one and let's initiate a sync from here. Click on yes. Okay, so we have initiated sync from Intune portal as well. Now to see the result, let's go to a Windows 10 device. This Windows 10 device is member of our targeted device group TasteWin client. So the firewall policy will apply on this Windows 10 device. First of all, we will initiate the manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete. Okay, the last sync was successful. Uh, to see the result quickly, I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. Now let me initiate the sync with Indian first. So once the policy is deployed to a Windows 10 device, we can try to change the firewall settings on the security settings page. So let's open Windows security app. See already I have created shortcuts so I can easily open that application quickly. We can see firewall and network protection is on on our Windows 10 device. Click on firewall and network protection. Click on active firewall profile, which is private in our case. As we can see, the option is gray out to turn off this Windows firewall. After the policy applied on the device, the end user cannot turn off the firewall. So firewall is on and end user cannot turn it off. This means the endpoint security firewall policy is working perfectly fine in our test environment. We also want to verify the same thing from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Click on policy name which we have created earlier in this video. Click on view report. We can see the information is not updated yet in the Intune portal. We need to wait little longer, so I'm going to pause the video recording. After waiting for around 7 minutes and performing two manual sync with Intune from a Windows 10 device, finally the information is updated in Intune portal. Let me click on our firewall policy. Click on view report. We can see the device to which the policy has been assigned. Device name labwin10-cli01 and check-in status is success. Click on labwin10-cli01. We can see all the settings with succeeded status for our firewall policy. So our firewall policy is working perfectly fine. Let's go back to a Windows 10 device and let me show you something strange. As we can see from Windows security app, the end user is not able to turn off the firewall. But let's try to turn off the firewall using the old school settings. Can we? Let's open firewall.cpl. Click on turn Windows Defender firewall on or off. And let's turn off the Windows Defender Firewall. Click on OK. And as you can see, 
firewall is currently turned off on a windows 10 device i don't know why but the end user is able to turn off the firewall which is strange i was expecting that end user cannot turn off the windows defender firewall and those settings will be gray out but it isn't this is weird hope in future update microsoft will address this issue in the next video we will create windows defender firewall rules in intune using endpoint security firewall policy that's all for this video on how to manage windows defender firewall on windows 10 device with intune thank you all for watching this video have a nice day